What is up guys, it is Magic Drop Shots, aka JD here, and welcome to part 5 on Nuketown Live. If you are just joining me, uh, click the link on the screen to go back to part 1, and then you can watch part 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then come back to 5. But if you have been on the series, uh, welcome welcome to part 5. And uh, we just started round 24, we have all the perks, uh, trying to get to 1,000 kills, we have... 798, two downs, two revives, 182 headshots, 30,000 30, points, um, and we are on the start of round 24. Oh, and it's already getting crowded right at the start. Alright, um, alright, stupid slow zombie, oh my god, I'm already getting hit. And if you guys don't remember, I did run out of quick revive, so this is my last one, so if I go down, it's gonna revive me. But then once I go get my perks again, Quick Revive won't be there, so after that, then when I die, then it's just going to be completely over. And that, you know, that's going to suck. I got an instant kill and a double points. Double points, I don't really need, but the instant kill is pretty valuable here. I'm going to gather him up in a little train again, and then I'm just going to just spray him once the... Instant kill starts blinking on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and it's gathering up real well here. Alright, starting to blink, I'm gonna just let it fly. I got a max ammo, so I'm gonna just keep on shooting, keep on shooting. Keep on letting it fly. Alright, reload, get the maximum. And I got a max ammo, so that you know that's good because level 24, you know, it's always good to have ammo. But they're respawning here. I'm going to keep track of the waves because last time when we were on level 23, um, I'm pretty sure there was four waves, but I wasn't completely sure. But I'm going to keep track this round. We are on wave four right now. Um, I'm going to get them gathered up here. Oh, hold a smooth move right there, right up the middle. I'm going to let a claymore fly. Oh, and I got a new guy. I got a new guy. All right, I got a new Alright, so that, that should get rid of that wave, so now we are going to start the third wave. Oh, no, I guess there is only three waves because the third wave was uh, spawning onto the map, and I guess we killed them with the nuke. So that was that was probably the fastest round. That was, like, as fast as, like, round five. Like We did two rounds, and then we got a nuke, and it destroyed the third wave that was coming on to the map. So that saved us ammo and time so we can get more levels into part I do some more weaving and dodging like always. I, the only bad part about like the Nuketown zombies is there's a lot of places that you can get trapped at. You can get trapped at this rock, you can get trapped at this little gate, this little thing, this rock over here, that trash can. There's so many, there's so many places that you can get trapped at because of the little nuke drops or whatever and then it made like rocks just randomly appear. I don't even know. But uh, in the yellow house, it is like 100% worse, and around the bus area, it's not too bad, but where the jeep was, that's like a total trap area, and and it's, it's not the best rape train. So, I'm always looking for the best rape train, because that, that's what gets me to high rounds. I'm going to kill these crawlers. No, I'm just going to kill every single one. Got an instant kill. Kill these off, and then I'm going to start a new train here. Get them all gathered up, and then again, once the instant kill starts stop starts blinking again, then I'm just gonna kill them. Getting hit all over the place. That's why Jug is the most valuable perk, like I've been saying all this time. Knife this slow zombie. Just running and running and running around. <laughs> all right, it's blinking here. Let it fly. Got a double points last time. I got a nuke from it, but you know it's whatever. Any drop is a good drop in my mind. Oh yeah, and I'm glad. I am so glad because um, in Black Ops, the worst drop, like the drop that I hated the most, was the little hammer thing. And what it did, what it did was, uh, it like repaired all the little barriers that the zombies break through. And I thought that was pretty pointless because I that makes the because when they get to break out faster, that makes the rounds go by faster. And I just pulled a smooth move right there. I just dodged all those zombies, but what it does is make the rounds go faster pretty much, and I got a nuke right here. 
So hopefully they spawn back onto the map and then I'll just kill them. Alright, and they are spawning back onto the map, so I'm gonna let it fly. Yeah, but pretty much what the the hammer did was it just rebuilt the barriers, which I'm one that wants to get the levels done as fast as possible, and that made it more slower. And and I would rather want a nuke or an insta kill or a max ammo or a fire seal more than a more than repairing all the barriers. I think that is stupid. But what I like about Nuketown Zombies is that there is no barriers in this. There's only a couple, so they do not have that little hammer thing. They have everything but the little hammer thing. They have the nuke, insta kill, max ammo, fire sale, and I think that's I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that is it. And they took away this stupid little hammer thing. I'm pretty proud about that. Um, you know, these higher levels are getting really tough right around this point because a lot of zombies spawn and they, they spawn from different spots now. They spawn from the same spots that they did last time, but now they are just spawning in more different spots, so this is making it harder. And I got another max ammo. Ammo is always good. Reload, get the maximum again. Got a slow zombie, I'm gonna kill him so he doesn't get in my way because slow zombies and crawlers always tend to mess up my rape train and end up killing me and I only have one quick revive left so I gotta stay alive as long as possible and whoa it is getting way way too crowded here alright and that slow zombie almost messed up my rape train but I almost died right there like I was pretty close like they were coming from all directions I had to, I had to pull the figure eights on them <laughs> All right, I got another nuke. What is what is up with the nukes today? Oh my god! Now I'm not complaining though. Nukes, I, on the higher rounds, my favorite things are everything but fire sale. On the higher rounds, because on the higher rounds are I already have a gun and everything. It's already upgraded, and the instant kill makes me kill them faster. You know, just get them all gathered up and shoot them down real quick, so the rounds are faster, and I still get some points. The nuke just like relieves me because it ends the round instantly pretty much. It depends what wave you're on. And then the max ammo, you know, you nothing wrong with the ammo. There's absolutely nothing wrong with ammo. Alright, but it looks like we're on a pretty good track here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I bought my last quick revive on level 20 and I haven't died yet. And it's kind of laggy there. Like when you have a whole group of zombies together and you just kill them. It kind of tends to lag just a little bit, but it's okay because the next wave doesn't come for like the next 15 seconds, and it only lags for a good 5 seconds probably. I knocked those zombies off there. I'm pretty sure these are like the last zombies coming on. Um, I don't know where the last one is. I yeah, do not know where this last one is, but he needs to hurry up. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, I hear him. Oh, there he is. About time he came. Oh my god, and there's another one. Alright, about time. Round uh, 27, and we're about 8 minutes, 9 minutes through, so we can fit in a good one more level, level 28, and then I think I might end it on 28 no matter what, so you guys can have a mystery. Like, will he, like, die on his last time or will he get his record stuff like that so so if I make it through this round you guys are gonna be seeing a part six as long as I can do some serious weaving and dodge and if I do end up dying I would like to die at least on a like a later wave so I don't have to deal with all these zombies like when I have no jug at all like that would be that's like my fear because <laughs> I really don't want to die and my other fear is that I'm afraid, like, if you hit the, if you hit the menu button, it will automatically pause the game when you're playing solo, but for some odd reason, if your controller dies, if your controller dies, and it's so weird, it, does, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, pause the video for you, it's just, like, keeps on, keeps on going, so, if I have this whole train and my controller dies, I'm guaranteed dead. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting max ammos and instant kills and, like, freaking nukes like crazy, oh. I'm happy right now. And I got my 1,000 kills. 1,017 I think that is. I, I don't really want to check right now because I have a whole bunch of zombies coming in here. Um, thank God that one was a runner. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
Alright, hurry up and cut this off real quick. Uh, try to kill the- Ah, uh, I tried to kill the crawler and I just made a newer. one. I bet that's okay, I'm gonna just try to run around. I'll kill him on the way here. Alright, and I killed all the crawlers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I killed all of them. I got a claymore, let's fly. Alright, claymores really aren't doing damage right now. So it takes two claymores to kill around. Got a fire sale here, I'm just gonna pick him up. Alright, some catchy music with the fire sale, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm afraid of getting trapped by this shed because I've gotten trapped there before. And if the zombies are making a tight space, then I have nowhere to go and I'm like pretty much automatically trapped. Uh, keep on going around here. Alright, yeah, we're going strong. I think this is the last wave of zombies and we're going like very strong right now. I think... Now oh, we're gonna be on level 28. Alright, they're still spawning onto the map. I do not know why. I'm pretty sure this is the the last wave. I know that I know for a fact this is wave four. Alright, so this is when they start coming in waves of four. I don't really mind it as long as I don't get trapped. Then I'm all good with it. All good in the hood. Alright, so, but after I finish off this way, I'm gonna leave like a crawler left, and then I'll just show you guys like rape trains that you can do in the back of the yellow. I mean, in the back of the greenhouse. Alright, um. Okay, so like I said before, the yellow house is too clusty. You don't wanna really run rape trains behind there unless you're like super good. Uh. The middle is too clustered also and it's not the best rape train because the bus is too long and you can get trapped very easily. So the best rape trains that you guys can do back here in the greenhouse is right here. So there's one that you can do right here where all you do is pretty much what I'm doing. You just run in circles. And then there's another one where you can do figure eights where you run right here. And then you come here, you bring them over here and you just do figure eights. And then the next one is kind of doing larger figure eights that are kind of lopsided what you do is you run around this pole and when they all come then you run over here you shoot them shoot them a little bit and then you run you bring them over again and keep on doing that well in the last one in the greenhouse is what you do is you run over here you shoot them a little bit and then you come over here and it's pretty much like one big circle but the only bad part about that one is right here you can easily get trapped right here because it is a tight space one zombie comes 